taking a look over Southfield. It looks a little dreary, but it's warm outside. It's a nice day to walk the dog and maybe walk an extra pace or two. Let's go ahead and set it over to Hallie Vogel, though, because today is nice, but we're in for a bitter cold snap here yeah. soon. You're going to need to cuddle with those uh, little furry friends this weekend because it's going to get cold. I will say that and don't let it be a shock. We are looking at a change coming tonight and tomorrow. So mixed rain and snow changes to all rain this afternoon. Gusty southwest winds will continue up until about six or seven o'clock and then we'll start to see those winds tapering off, bringing in the Arctic air behind it just in time for the weekend. It all depends on where these fronts are situated. We're kind of in the zone of milder air, so to speak, as the warm front is lifted northward. The cold front slides through tonight and that's where we see a little shock to the system tonight and tomorrow. But out ahead of it, it's mainly rain. You can see it trying to change over to snow at times and that mix will take place. It's going to be a wetter, heavier mix coming down at times through the early afternoon, especially Jackson up toward the Howell area. If you look at Port Huron and then all areas pointing south to the north, a little drier, a little more scattered. So you're kind of driving out of that if you are headed north, especially up I-75. But 36 degrees right now in Pontiac, also downtown 35 right now in Ann Arbor, 37 degrees Monroe. These steady temperatures will continue through the afternoon. I will say, though, just because the winds are gusty, we talk about wind chills. This is how it feels. Upper 20s for a lot of locations, although a little cooler 26 is how it feels with your wind chill downtown. This is where the air is coming from, the air mass, so to speak, for the weekend. It is one below in Fargo, 21 degrees Minneapolis. We get that core of colder air coming down for the weekend. Tomorrow we're looking at highs again in the teens for highs. Single digit wind chills throughout the day. It's going to be a tough go after we've seen a couple milder days this week. So here's our hour by hour forecast as we go through the rest of the day. Either a mix or rain, mainly rain showers or at least uh, kind of that wet, heavier snow because it's trying to mix with rain. That'll start to subside as we work our way into the evening drive. Still around though in spots. Keep it in mind. Roads will be wet, in some cases slushy, and then temperatures will start to drop off late tonight into tomorrow morning. By the morning, teens for lows. My concern is we could see a few snow showers overnight, but any wet roads that haven't been salted will likely kind of witness those icy spots. So if you're traveling early tomorrow morning, just keep that in mind. Give yourself some extra time as this is a pretty quick drop in temperatures overall, and then we just stay cold tomorrow with our temperatures remaining in the teens. Wanted to show you that with teens uh, near 20 for temperatures, single digit wind chills will carry us right through the day tomorrow. We're looking at more of the same on Sunday. Just really can't get out of it, even in the 20s on Monday. So Valentine's Day looks cold, but then we get that jump. Temperatures rising into the 40s on Wednesday. Certainly looking at if it's a mix in the morning, it would be rain in the afternoon with rain on Thursday and a high of 44 degrees. So once we get through a cold weekend, at least we see the milder temperatures on the backside of that seven day forecast. Well, stay with us. We have more 7 Action News ahead.